Thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now, you know, Ayurveda is something that we need and Peter's knees have been giving him a hard time. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have new knees. <laughs> that, 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 that. My knees are new. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, even, even if they are new knees or old knees, you have nothing to worry. You can get a treatment that really does help your body, soul and mind. Yeah. Uh, they completely use the traditions of Ayurveda, giving it that relaxation that you need. And I'm going to give you a gift voucher. It's kept away. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it to you so you can enjoy it in Colombo. You I'm don't need sure. to commute all the way to Anuradhapura for it. Yes. We're bringing it to Colombo. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. And they also have like good, mm, like using Sri Lanka, they do like this amazing food, which is like, you know, which doesn't have the bad things yeah. in it. Yes. Good for your soul. Sounds good. A little bit of oil dripping on my head could actually change my world. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, enjoy Aditya Ayurveda. Danu on fire. Powered by... Celeste Daily. Missing something? Just Celeste. I just say it. Welcome to Down on Fire, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today we got ourselves to Gaul because we wanted to speak to the one and only Peter Kurvita who has made Sri Lankan food sexy across the world. Uh, it just took me six years to get you on the show. Yes, <laughs> I know, I remember when we first met. I know, we have been like, uh, once I was like, I saw his picture, let me call him. Well, I'm just getting down. Where? In Aussie. <laughs> Like, that's true. never trust a photo on social media, I tell you. Yeah, Timing's that's always warped. That's true. How are you doing? Good, good. Brilliant. It's been a good, it's been a, had, had a good time here. Really Fabulous. Great. Thank yeah. you so much for coming and thank you for being here. So, so let's start off. Um, I, I know lots of people would have asked you this. Mm. The whole fact of you making Sri Lankan food so palatable by so many, because we have spice, we have so too many mm. things. What brought you to that? What is it that sparked in you like oh hold on um I, I remember the day it was a long time ago it was about 1986 i'd just come back from overseas i got a job as a head chef in a very refined restaurant and for the first time ever because we were we were very traditional french uh, the whole of australia in those days and the chef is very famous neil perry he was cooking asian food and i, I thought to myself well where's my little where's my niche you know because we were all looking for our niches and so I started just throwing a few flavours in mm. and that, that experiment continued for quite a while until I opened Flying Fish in 2002 and that's when I really kicked it off and I started it with something I showed them today and I did last night, uh, it was a snapper curry. Simple dish, my grandmother's curry sauce, some tamarind chutney raita and, and condiments but the idea was how to present and plate Sri Lankan food in a different way so that it fits into the modern world and then from there I just continued you know I just the the cuisine here is varied it's regional and there are so many favorites so I'm always very very careful to ensure that the base flavor is authentic yeah yeah it's important yeah because being inspired is one thing but not to not to sort of take away what Sri Lanka is known for. It's not confusion. Because <laughs> there's illusion. a lot of illusion. <laughs> correct. There's a lot of people that do that, uh, and it's just you, you need to really think about it and also respect it. So I just got to that stage where now it's 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 normal. And the great thing is, 
it's not just me, but so many people now are pushing that barrier. We've pulled Sri Lankan food out of the umbrella of Indian food. Indian food is brilliant, but we always got classified okay. within it, right? Even we do. <laughs> well, exactly. So, yeah. so now, you know, there's Michelin star restaurants, there's, there's famous restaurants all around the world who are Sri Lankan restaurants. I've actually finished with restaurants. I've, my last restaurant is gone, I'm very happy to say. <laughs> and now the banner is with others and I intend to travel the world doing, doing what exactly you do. that. Which is, which is still promoting Sri Lanka, but not within the confines of a restaurant. Mm, I feel amazing. free. Yeah. <laughs> and the hassle of handling a lot of things is not there. Well, yeah, it yeah, is. And that's it's, a, well, I ticked over 45 years of cooking. How old are you? Well, <laughs> when you said you, you, st you were inspired in 86, <laughs> I felt really young. <laughs> yeah, well, I yeah, you are. Uh, I wanted to ask you, um, in terms of today, if you do take, everyone has sort of, I think MasterChef sort of really added to this whole Sri Lankan curry thing coming out and we would have, we have seen the post sambal being cooked and all of that. So Australia is more, uh, well, we are more there now <laughs> and also our food is more there. So the, globally we have been recognized for our food in some mm -hmm. way. Uh, when you sort of, I'm sure in the 80s and the early 90s when you sort of spoke about Sri Lankan food, it would have been alien to a lot of people. Mm. Uh, we were known for like not the coolest things like what the war. Your, well, well, I did a TV show just a little bit after that and the first time we went to a production house, they said, why would you want to do a show on Sri Lanka? It's just war and boat people. That was literally, and, and at, at that time, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Australia had a massive invasion of boat people from Sri Lanka. So the perception was that. Yeah. And this guy said, well, why would you want to do that? And mm. I just said, give me a shot, because that country has a lot more than war and boat people. And still today, it's the same. And sometimes out there, and I hope I can use this platform to say it, we need to tell people out there in the world that Sri Lanka is safe. You know, one of the first questions I get asked is, is Even today, is it safe? And that's like, we know it is. I know. But how do we promote that? And it's only through these kind of mediums where we can, and through food. Food yeah. is peace. I know, definitely. And, you know, and food is happiness, which is... Correct. Which is and really memories. Yeah. You know, you think uh, every time you... If you, can, if you mention, you know, what was, what was your grandmother's favourite food? It brings a smile. It's one yeah. of those things that, that evokes emotion. And the emotion is food. It's brilliant. That is true. Uh, home front. Are you someone who likes to be in the kitchen? Always. Oh. I've never I've stopped cooking. Oh my God, you know there are a lot of people who do this as a profession, say, oh no, I just don't like to go in the kitchen. Well, you know, on the, if, after you've done a 15-hour shift, you stop at Macca's, it might be all right, or one of the other you yeah. know, fast food <laughs> joints. But the reality is, and, and it's not just, do you like cooking at home? It's like, do you like being healthy? Mm. You know, you, you can get takeaway garbage with sugar and trans Everything. fats and all that stuff. Or you can go and buy some whole food and cook something really simple. And it's much better for you, it's better for your family, it's better for the environment. But I like cooking. I, d I don't know what else I could do. Well, I do, but I, I you know. <laughs> no, like, you don't want to put yourself through that. No, 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 no. We love you in this frame yeah. anyway. Uh, so why is Peter Kruger here? We'll speak more about it when we do come back. We're checking out this beautiful place. We'll see you after the break. Do stick around. Do stop around. <laughs> Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daly. Missing something? Just Celeste. Thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now, you know, Ayurveda is something that we need, and Peter's knees have been giving him a hard time. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I have new knees. <laughs> <laughs> My knees are new. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, even, even if they are new knees or old knees, you have nothing to worry. You can get a treatment that really does help your body, soul and mind. Uh, they completely use the traditions of Ayurveda, giving it that relaxation that you need. And I'm going to give you a gift voucher. It's kept away. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it to you so you can enjoy it in Colombo. You I'm don't need to good. commute all the way to Anuradhapura for it. Yes. We're bringing it to Colombo. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. And they also have like good... Mm, like using Sri Lanka, they do like this amazing food, which is like, you know, which doesn't have the bad things yeah. in it. Yes. Good for your soul. Sounds good. A little bit of oil dripping on my head could actually change my world. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, enjoy Aditya Ayurveda. Welcome back to the show. We are speaking to, I'm told, avant-garde, showstopper, supermodel, Peter Kurovita. Because a gourmet gall has been happening here in Sri Lanka. We've had some brilliant chefs who have come down and given us such amazing food. 
uh, but you know, they say keep the best for last. Ah. They kept him for last. Thank you. Yeah, and how, how, has, uh, how has this been? Well, it's, it, it's a 12 week program. The first time I came here was in 2008 and it was all packed into one mm. week or something. This time it's 12, it was 12 weeks, so many great chefs came. It's so good for Sri Lanka, it's so good for the chefs. So a lot of them have some connection in Sri Lanka as well. They, come, they came here, got to show their stuff, the people in Sri Lanka got to see it. And yes, I was happy to be here and lucky last, you know. Yeah, no. It was good. Yeah. You're like the Naomi Campbell of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tall enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, but she's rocking it. <laughs> but I was, I was thinking, you know, this, these kind of things, these initiatives just don't keep, it doesn't, it doesn't not only sort of promote the food factor, but it also promotes the destiny, the yes. destination, the, the fact that Sri Lanka can offer so much more than a nice warm meal. Correct. And when you met people yesterday, because you had your night yesterday, yeah. how was it? What were they telling you? What were they talking about? Oh, people are very proud. I think that others are representing Sri Lanka, not just me, but others around the world. And then for them to be able to come back and cook delicious meals for them, it was great. I only had um, I had 17 people in a very, it was a very intimate, intimate dinner, yes. They ha all had a piece of you. They did. Yeah. Now, I was in the middle and they all looked at me and we had, um, we did seven courses and yeah. I just tried to do a, a modern take on delicious Sri Lankan food and just show them, you know, how uh, to serve rice and curry like this is brilliant. And these guys here at Gore Fort do a great job. But then think about breaking this up and trying to put it into a, a modern look. And that's what I do. And it's taking different flavours and using other techniques to create the same flavor, that's the most important yeah, thing, true. but in a more wow way. Yeah. And it's good fun, I love it. That's love true. It. Well, I'm telling you, one minute to just appreciate golf or hotel because it's so beautiful. They, I, I was in a suite I know up you're here, telling me. stunning. It, the, like the, the, what, I, what hit me as soon as I walked in here was all the original furniture. It's absolutely stunning. I, I um, can't take any, right? No, <laughs> my bag's not big enough, I don't think. But yeah, I, look, I did look yeah. around. I mean, maybe the elephant sticker, yeah, who knows? Just, but just a few. Yeah. If you look around, it's just, there's a lot of thought gone into yeah. this hotel. And there's a lot of stories that you can share. Definitely. With it. Uh, amazing. So uh, let's go back to life in Aussie. Yeah. Uh, are you like stopped frequently and like, oh my God, that's Peter? Uh, yeah. Oh. But that's good, you know, the way you've got to look at that, I mean, I'm sure you'll stop frequently Nobody as well. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> the, way I, the way I look at that is that, that notoriety and the, the want for a quick photo doesn't hurt to give a quick photo, but you know what it does? They share it with their family, they share it with others. Family. Maybe one of them will come to my restaurant. That's the go, you know, that like it's, if you're going to be in the public, you may as well embrace it. Uh, it's fun, I, you know, I go surfing and the guys are in the surf making fun of me and we joke and they say you have to start the champagne lunch again because my wife is really annoying me on Saturdays and it's just banter. Yeah. And my town is small, two traffic lights, 25,000 people. Uh, that's it? That's it. So everyone knows you? Everybody knows And me. everyone is in everyone's business, it's like Colombo. Uh, well, yes, but there's a lot more people here in Colombo. <laughs> no, it's, it's nice though because people are, people are respectful. Australians are very respectful. Yeah. Um, they might, you know, people will see you and sometimes I see them and they look and give you a smile and I'll go and have two minutes. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. Having a chat with someone, it doesn't hurt. It's nice. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, you know, you have been uh, in the Sri Lankan, um, uh, what can I say? eye level for a long time like mm. we have seen you as one of the first Sri Lankans who sort of took it out there and like you know made us be like oh my god there's somebody talking about our food tell me that one thing that you just didn't want to present in any other way but just as it is You're like okay so in uh, once a month we have a traditional traditional five pot curry lunch and that is so popular this is even more than five yeah, pot yeah. But we do five curries, rice, and then all the condiments. And that is the real Sri Lanka. And each one has its own flavor. Each one is absolutely delicious. And it's representative not only of the country, but the ideology behind food in Sri Lanka, yeah. which is a combination of not just incredible ingredients, but a medicinal value as well. Sure. And Ayurveda and food in Sri Lanka are so linked. 
you know, and, and to be able to continue to push that and to be able to say, you know, nowadays they sell turmeric tablets around the world before nobody knew what turmeric was, you know. They sell gotukola pills in supermarkets. Murunga leaf. Yes, so it means that people are finally realizing, I mean, how many pills can you take to make yourself feel better? If you can not cure yourself, because I think modern medicine has it, 100% has its place, but if you can, you can combine it. And I was talking to you before about having whole food, mm. real food, you know, fresh stuff that's, that's been prepared lovingly with all these Ayurvedic herbs and spices. And we have, you know, the best cinnamon in the world. So our spices are incredible. Our seafood, I mean, you just have to walk down the road here. It's just off the charts. Um, and I love the regionality of Sri Lankan food. So when we, we have a, a house in, in Dehivala mm. and um, when the uncles and aunties would come from the different areas, I'd just say, where did they live? Because then you'd know. The guys from the tea country, wild boar. The guys from down south, curd. You know, and, and that you know what from Jaffna yeah. and from you know all of these things, and they would bring that, and that was that was gold. Or when mangosteens were in season, oh, somebody yeah. would come with a bucket, and you knew, oh, hope Uncle So and So is coming because yeah. they're going to bring mangosteens. That's what food to me is. But food is medicine. It should also be delicious medicine. Yeah, that is true. You know, something that is told, uh, especially in in Sri Lankan food when you take a lunch back, back in the days, it touched different areas of your tongue. Yeah. There was something sweet, there was something spicy, there was something sour, there was something bitter. Everything put together is what gives you that right balance. Amazing. Uh, to, he, had a, he had such a busy day last night. That's with yeah. a fine dining experience. In the morning you had a master class. This morning, yeah. yeah. That was how great. Was, how many were there for that? Oh, 40 odd. Gosh. Ah. Uh, it was good and, and it was nice. That kind of thing is what I love because my head is filled with all these not useless, but these facts about how to pick a prawn, why this is that. And I love when I can have somewhere to stand and tell interested people about the spices, the flavors, the, uh, the ingredients of Sri Lanka. But not only that, how to pick a good crab, how to pick a good prawn. Seafood shouldn't smell, it should smell like the ocean. Yeah. You know, that there's just so many of those things that it's really nice to be able to hand knowledge back. Your trivia brain needs to be used. It does. There you go. It does. All right. We're going to take a small break because it's time that we sit through yes. this fabulous Sri Lankan meal. We'll see you right after. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daily. Missing something? Just Celeste. Thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now you know Ayurveda is something that we need, and Peter's knees have been giving him a hard time. <laughs> I have, <laughs> I have new knees. <laughs> 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 My knees are new. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, if, even if they are new knees or old knees, you have nothing to worry. You can get a treatment that really does help your body, soul and mind. Yeah. Uh, they completely use the traditions of Ayurveda, giving it that relaxation that you need. And I'm going to give you a gift voucher. It's kept away. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it to you so you can enjoy it in Colombo. You don't need guess. to commute all the way to Anuradhapura for it. Yes. We're bringing it to Colombo. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. And they also have like good... Mm, like using Sri Lanka, they do like this amazing food, which is like, you know, which doesn't have the bad things yeah. in it. Yes. Good for your soul. Sounds good. A little bit of oil dripping on my head could actually change my way. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, enjoy Aditya Ayurveda. Welcome back. We are at the Golf Road Hotel and we are speaking to Peter Kuruvika. Now, I have to ask you, um, I'm too comfortable, I'm asleep. Okay. You have to wake I, me first. I, <laughs> I tried sitting the same way. I know, no, I'm moving forward. I'll, I'll be professional. No, because I'll fall I, asleep otherwise. I look like a whale that has <laughs> stepped out of water. I so say I, nothing. <laughs> that is equal to just accepting it. Um, would you be coming back for another? I would love to. A brilliant. I've, uh, right. I, yeah, I, I, I just want to support you so much. Super. It's fantastic. L come back, that's I all. When you come back, you. we'll do a better show. This like, is not a good one? Should no, no, it's good. Or <laughs> it's good. I'm just, I'm just, we will do like different locations. Maybe you can come surfing with me. Oh my God, I'll be actually a whale, drowned. I can't, I, I can't do anything with the ocean. 
Yeah, I'm just really like that. Bad. I can't live without the ocean. Really? You know the funniest part? Sri Lankans, we have the least amount of people who can swim. Yes, because your grandmother's always like, don't go near the water. Yeah, I know, I blame my grandmother. <laughs> Actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, one and only boy. They wanted to preserve. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they didn't the do anything. Yeah. Really um, have to ask you, uh, in terms of coming back to Sri Lanka repeatedly, you would have seen Sri Lanka grow in shape, size, and people. Uh, do you do you think we are on the positive way up? Look. The, the sad part is that there's always an interruption. Yeah. Um, and and this country has got nowhere to go but up. You know, mm. really, you think about just resources, you think about history, you think about the diversity from the wild parks to the different areas, to the hills, to the, you know, this place has everything. The Knuckles Ranges, Singharaja Forest is like a mini Amazon. You know, we have leopards, we have bears. It, it's, it is an incredible package in, in one country. Um, and I see it grow all the time. I mean, we're in Gaul Fort now. Even the, this fort is just growing, you can see they're doing so much, they're restoring architecture and they're building that, you know, that pride in this fort. But the whole country, there's so much that's going on. The highways, I don't care who owns them, but you know what? They're really good, good because we're getting from A to B a lot quicker. And that in tourism is, a, is a, like to go from here back to Colombo used to be six hours. I know. You know, dodging buses and all kinds of stuff. Now, an hour and a half, two hours, as long as it's not raining like you. Man. That's what you said. We need to check the weather, I think. I'm not you sure. You can. <laughs> I was here on time. People expected me to be earlier, which is a very rare thing for Sri Lanka. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. Actually, may I say that everyone that says they're going to be on time, they're always a little bit late. Some people are two or three hours late. Yes. And then so the only time I thought, oh, I'm going to hang out, I'm going to go for a swim in the pool. They're not going to be there. The guy turned up on time. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you don't know. And that's part Never of it. Never jinx it with a Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> we I mean, are always, and we serve dinner only at like 12 midnight. Yeah. Yeah, and we give dessert at around two, we leave at four. That kind of, is, seems like a story that happened last night actually. <laughs> there, and yeah. you know what, the nightlife's pretty good as well. Yeah, that's you know, true. It's, it's a package, it's an amazing package, this country. I love coming back. It's my second home. Our, our house is 300 years old, my auntie still lives in it. Wow. So we have, I have this very close connection. That's Not amazing. just of the land, but actually of the people as well. Everything. And if I have to choose, you know, who awesome. am I? I'm an Australian, Sri Lankan. Right, I have to ask you, who do you support when, there's, when it's on the field and there are two teams playing? Are we talking... Uh, cricket. I don't follow cricket. <laughs> you know why, can I tell you? So, I, when my kids were growing up, I could not think of anything worse than hanging on a field watching a six-year-old kid trying to hit a ball. It's a waste of a Saturday. <laughs> uh, and, uh, sorry, sorry Sri Lanka, like, but that's the truth. Yeah. Um, I do know all the cricketers, I, I follow it and again, sacrilege coming, I like the shorter game. And it's good. Yeah. It's where the batsmen and the bowlers get to flog the hell out of the ball and that's what makes it exciting. You get some guy running in for five days. Sorry, I'm sorry, I really am, but that's the truth. But if you had to choose and support, who would you choose? Depends who's playing. So, Aussie and um, Sri Lanka? Well, it, if Aussie and Sri Lanka are playing together in Sri Lanka, probably Sri Lanka. But if they're playing in Australia, Australia. You're a very smart man. Hey, you know, I was next to my father when we won, now Sri Lanka I'm saying, yeah. the World Cup. It was one of the proudest moments. I, I'll never forget his reaction. And yes, I... And I, I did I, you look at him just in a judgmental way? No, I was so happy for him. Ah. <laughs> um, but you know that the national sport of uh, Sri Lanka is not cricket. Yeah, it's volleyball. Volleyball. My son is the captain of the volleyball team over there and he's brilliant. And what's the national t uh, game in Aussie? Well, we have a few. We have rugby league, we have rugby uh, ARL, the aerial ping pong. And then um, cricket is a big part of that life. He's in the wrong country with volleyball. He should be here. Yeah, and, and you know, here he'd probably be a bit taller yeah. than he is there because he's got my stature this much taller but you know the Australian kids are like bean shoots yeah. having said that look at the size of you like there's so like I think when I was growing up I used to be proud to be one of the taller Tall Sri Lankans ones. now all the young guys are coming up and it's better diet it's again has Sri Lanka changed yes yes it's changed They've in a positive taller. way yeah. well it's changed in a positive way in diet and everything else which makes a good country I personally feel something happened with my forefathers they went behind some bush for sure <laughs>
because I'm telling you, we were all meant to be crony. I don't know really? What yeah, but I don't know what happened. Oh, so the, the rest of your family? Are, no, no, they're not. Oh, I was going to say, somewhere hey, is adopted or adopted? <laughs> somewhere <laughs> something happened and it, the uh, DNA changed. Well, yeah, good, good thank food. God, I know. It would have been really bad if I was just short and fat. <laughs> you, but, you just, yeah, anyway. <laughs> you know, I give you reasons to compliment me, but you just let what it flow. Am, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say right across where we are seated, uh, you get Sri Lanka's best Arak bar. And it's the first Arak bar as well. Yeah. It's like, look at that wall. World's first, yeah. Look at I'm the just, I'm just looking at Rian George who's here narrating this story to us. <laughs> um, it's, the, it's, the, it's the world's first Arak bar. And it is the world's best one as well. I can just say it, nobody's from the world judging me right oh. now. World's first and you can see on the Condé Nast Traveller top 20 bars listed. Did you understand that? Yes. Thank you. It's too much of Indian for me to get. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the Condé Nast top 20 of all Arak bars or bars. Top 20 bars in Sri Lanka. Yeah, in Sri Lanka. There you go. Yeah, that's amazing. Well it done. Is, it is. I must say Golf Hotel is looking, doing great. So uh, that's amazing. We have so many people here. I'm so happy to see you. Sri Lanka buzzing with people. It is. Yeah. It is. It's that, uh, again, uh, the tourism on all levels is booming. So the kids are coming, they're backpacking, and they're the ones who are posting content, really that is true. cool content. Yeah, because they know how to use the phone. <laughs> true. <laughs> but also, you know, there is stuff that people haven't seen before that the backpackers tend to get to. Like, you can't go near Nine Arches Bridge anymore no, because it's been made so fa famous. But that's not, not a bad thing, it's Definitely. a good thing. Um, and the more discoveries will make people want to come to this country more. Spend their big bucks and yeah. you know, that will help the country for sure. Definitely. Well, thank you, Peter, for being here. I'm so happy I got a chance to talk to you. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy I did this show. When you come back next up, I'm going to do a cooking show with you, all right? Are you going to cook as well? Yeah, I can cook. Okay. All right. Well, you choose a dish and I'll choose a dish. We'll, we'll have a ready, steady cook. You against me. Game on. Thanks. This is on TV, we have made this bet. So hoping to see you next year, or even this year, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. You have the 300-year-old house. I if do. You, if, you, if you're searching for someone to write it off to? Well, yeah, there's, you know, you know the family and the houses. It's, it's, a, it's a tangled story. But my auntie now is, is the yeah. owner, and that's great. And I, she always says to me, this is your house as well. Oh, no. And I'm just happy for someone to invite me back into their house. We grew up there, but you know, it's where my heart is and Good. all my memories. Fine, I tried. Anyway, on that uh, note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much for hosting us here. It has been absolutely wonderful. It's worth the drive from Colombo when you have to speak to a man like him. Until we see you again, you keep smiling, it's a wrap. Thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now, you know, Ayurveda is something that we need and Peter's knees have been giving him a hard time. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have new knees. <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> My knees are new. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, if, even if they are new knees or old knees, you have nothing to worry. You can get a treatment that really does help your body, soul and mind. Uh, they completely use the traditions of Ayurveda giving it that relaxation that you need. And I'm going to give you a gift voucher. It's kept away. Yeah. I'll give it to you so you can enjoy it in Colombo. I, I you don't need to commute all the way to Anuradhapura for it. Yes. We're bringing it to Colombo. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. And they also have like good, mm, like using Sri Lanka, they do like this amazing food, which is like, you know, which doesn't have the bad things yeah. in it. Yes. Good for your soul. Sounds good. A little bit of oil dripping on my head could actually change my world. There you go. Yeah. So uh, enjoy Aditya Ayurveda. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daly. Missing something? Celeste.